Hey everybody and welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. I'm at the bivouac here with my daughter. Got a, a fire going. Nice hot fire. A little cool today so we can get the fire going. We have a special interest thing today. We're going to get Sarah. Hi Hello. Sarah. To fire the Henry rifle and take down those evil cans. So let's watch Sarah load the rep, rep in here. She's got it pretty much figured out. Now this weapon holds 17 rounds and uh, pretty easy to load, eh? Mm -hmm. So Sarah's already done uh, one set of uh, shooting and she did really good. She hit them every single time. So now uh, now that she's an old hat at it, she's a professional, we're going to see if these cans will fall down. So um, when she's ready, I'll uh, set up the camera and uh, we'll see if we can uh, see any of these cans fall down. So just bear with me and uh, as soon as that's loaded, we'll get that all set up. Okay guys, we got the GoPro set up here. We got the cans ready to go, and uh, I'm gonna walk back, and uh, we're gonna watch, see what happens. Stand by. Haha! Woohoo! Success! All right. Okay, guys, look at that Calamity Jane here. Basically, she destroyed it. She couldn't aim for this one because the GoPro is basically in between her and the... Uh, yeah, they want to destroy the expensive equipment. Which but, uh, I appreciate. So this one here, she hit numerous times. There's like nothing left in this can. <laughs> oh, it got destroyed. Oh, my like, God. But it just wouldn't go down. <laughs> it was sad. It, this was like, this is a zombie can. She has to hit it in the head, and she didn't. All right, excellent job. All right. Well, there we go. There's my daughter learning how to fire a weapon. Yeehaw. Well, we finished doing some shooting. She, um, she basically did it every single time, got almost every one of the cans off. It's still the zombie can, still won't leave, but other than the zombie can. It keeps coming back from the dead. It keeps coming back from the dead. We've got a great fire going, and what we're going to do is um, we're going to have some hot dogs. Got the hot dog buns, hot dogs, onions, and ketchup, and... Uh, here you go, I'll hand you oh. a hot dog and you go ahead and... Thanks. Yeah, the ones in the back are fresher. <laughs> Just <impale> that. <laughs> right on there. All right. And we'll just put her over the fire. Oh. Got a nice fire going. And nice I'll get and mine ready. And uh, I'll bring you back as soon as we're uh, about to have some hot dogs. All right, there's mine. There's yours. Taste test. It's good. It's good? All right. Hot dogs over a campfire, guys. Doesn't get any better than that. I'm going to finish this off. See you guys later. Well, guys, hot dogs are done. I'm, of course, having my coffee. Decided to go for a mocha this time. It's really good. My daughter, she's now addicted to firing the rifle. I wouldn't say addicted. It's, it's really fun. She's addicted. I killed this can. I'm shooting a corpse. Look at this, guys. There's nothing left of this thing. <clears throat> She's doing good. She's fired off probably 50 rounds now. She just won't stop. I think it's cool. Anyway, I'm just going to sit down by the fire, drink my coffee, and watch my daughter shoot the Henry rifle. Good day. Oh, that one can is really hiding behind the tree. I don't know if I can hit it. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Totally got it. Did you see that? I oh saw it. <laughs> I was not expecting to hit it. OMG. Well, guys, we've had our hot dogs. We've had our coffee and hot chocolate. Fired off about 60 or 70 rounds. And uh, we're just waiting for the fire to go out. She's almost out. She's got a little bit of embers left. What do you think, Sarah? What do you think about firing a Henry rifle? It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, you did a really good job. So yeah, we're just gonna wait till this goes out and then uh, put
put her out with some water and uh, get heading back. So uh, if you guys like this video, uh, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thanks a lot. And um, you have a good day and I'll talk to you next time.